Is it always this crowded? Yes, I know. But it used to be crowded, especially in spring and summer. Nowadays, few people gather here to have a drink or chat with each other. I see. I've never seen you around here, sir. Are you traveling? Yeah, you could say that. What can you tell me about this town? There really isn't much to talk about. Ark Hammond is quite an old town. Residents still live like their ancestors did hundreds of years ago. Of course, it changed a bit after the War of Northbridge. The population grew and some apartments were built around the town centre. But in the old part of town, there are some houses so old, even my great-grandfather didn't know when they were built. Unfortunately, a few months ago, it was announced that there is an epidemic in those parts. The police don't allow anyone to enter, so I'm afraid you won't be able to see it for yourself. What kind of epidemic is it? We don't know exactly. They won't tell anyone. But the old thing smells fishy to me. I don't think there really even is an epidemic down there. What can you tell me about the townspeople? I can tell you that we are very traditional. We really enjoy living like our ancestors did, and even still celebrate some ancient festivals. I remember my grandfather telling me stories about witches and how some places in the oldest part of town should be avoided. Many people here still believe those kinds of stories, especially because of rumors spread during the war about certain places used as war shelters. But I must warn you, some folks are a bit extreme. They are very unenlightened and don't like speaking with strangers, so you should be careful around here. What can you tell me about Worm's Feast? It's the old bookshop run by Henry Lawrence. You can find a few antique things besides the books in there too. Henry really doesn't like strangers though. In fact, he doesn't really even like to talk to us. He lives with his wife. On rare occasions, he'll come here alone to get a drink and then go home quietly. I heard that he fought at the War of Northbridge, and that's the one thing he becomes very talkative about. By the way, sir, what are you looking for at Worm's Feast? I'm looking for a book and was told that I can only find it there. It must be a very valuable book to travel here just to find it. Kind of. It seems this isn't a very popular spot for visitors. I was the only one who got off the train. Yeah, Ark Hammond is an old town that doesn't have anything particularly interesting for sightseers. Who is staying in the room next to mine? No one is staying there at the moment. Nobody ever wants to stay there after the last guest killed himself. Why did he kill himself? Nobody knows. First he locked himself inside the room, then jumped out of the window. No suicide letters or notes were found. Just some dark poems. Who was he? An old man. One of the townspeople I don't know. But I heard he was a poet. Thanks. I must go now. Hello? 
Hello? How can I help you? I am looking for a book called Recollections of the Past. Yes, I have that book, but I got it for someone who ordered it a few weeks ago, so I'm afraid it has a buyer already. Great, it's still here. I have to get it. Don't you think a few weeks is a bit long to not pick up an order? They may not come for it after all this time. Sorry, young man. I can't give an order to another person. It's store policy. I understand. I am looking for books about the War of the North Bridge. You're interested in the war? Yes, I'm a writer. I'm planning to write a book about the war and gathering as much information as I can. Excellent. If I were younger, I would do the same. Writing about that war was my dream. I can imagine. Since I hear that you fought in the war yourself, I'd very much like to hear about your personal experiences. It will be a great help to my book. It would be a pleasure, young man. Come and see me when you're ready. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Also, I heard some rumours that were spread during the war about certain places used as shelters. Do you know anything about those? Oh, yes. They could be quite horrible. I never saw one personally, but other soldiers found some really terrible things inside. Many were so bad, they were immediately burned down. We were never told about them in detail, but we all heard the rumours. Rumours about burial grounds inside abnormally large cellars of ancient houses. Stolen tombstones with strange writings on them. Viciously butchered animal carcasses. And about the screaming thing that caused two soldiers to go crazy. Oh my, I never heard about all those. They were covered up. As I said, most of them were burned down without anyone knowing about them, and people of this town don't like to speak about the past with strangers. I see. By the way, may I ask your name, young man? Howard. And mine is Henry. Pleased to meet you. In fact, I may be a bit biased, but I already like you, Howard. You seem like a nice guy. So, about that book you asked for earlier. You're right, I don't think the person who ordered it will come for it now. You can buy it instead. It was written here, you know, right at the time of the war. So, it may come in handy for you. That would be great. It's in the cellar. Could you go and get it yourself? You should find it on one of the shelves. I have problems with my legs. A constant reminder of that same war which got much worse recently. Normally my wife helps me out, but she isn't feeling too well right now. No problem, Henry. I would be happy to get it.
I think this book was written with a cipher system. Do you recognize this? Mm, let me look at it. Yes, a cipher, just as you said. Well, this is no good. Where can I find someone who can decode it for me? I can do it if you want, but it will cost you a bit. Of course, I can't expect you to decipher it for free. All right, then. I think this is one of the cipher systems used during the war. I worked with radio operators back then, so I think I can decipher this. But I need some time. There's also another book in the cellar about the cipher systems used in the war. If you get that for me, I can start working on this. Thank you, Henry. I will go and look for that book right now. Here it is. Yes, that's the one. I will see what I can do. I'd like to buy this camera. Sure. I'd like to buy this map. Of course you do. You'll need it. I'd like to buy that music box in the cellar. Whatever you like. I'd like to buy that toy jeep in the cellar. That's an interesting choice. Out of curiosity, do you know who ordered the book? I don't know their names, but they seemed like suspicious and dangerous types. They came here a few months ago and bought a dilapidated place in the old part of town. I've also heard they sometimes dwell in the old building in the forest glade for some reason. Some people say they see lights in the windows of that old building. If you're thinking of going there, be careful. That building is one of the places the rumors tell about. And there are hungry wolves in the forest. I will definitely keep that in mind. Can you tell me a bit more about that building in the forest glade? I don't know much about it. Just stories I've heard. They say a witch cult of eastern origin once lived there that was obsessed with mandrake plants. But I don't know who really lived there or who built it. May I ask your wife's problem, Henry? Uh, it is bad. I think she's completely lost her mind. 
for some time she's been dreaming and talking about an eclipse and, and the coming of darkness. She's not very religious normally, but now talks about nothing but the end of days. I am sorry, Henry. Thanks, Henry. I have to go now. <laughs>